All right, so I want to take a look at this idea that if you deny Jesus, you're going to lose your salvation. All right, and so that's what apparently people are teaching. So let's take a look here. Um, that's, that's probably good enough right there. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven heaven all right so very clearly if you deny Jesus Jesus will deny you uh, to the Father and therefore you won't be saved now this is about people who are not saved people that are not saved they deny Jesus Christ this is not about people that are saved all right let me show you so, you know, Peter denied Jesus, not once, not twice, but three times. Three times. Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice, and he went out and wept bitterly. So, Peter remembered the word of Jesus when he said, you're going to deny me three times. Peter uh, rejected that idea. He said, oh, I'll never deny you. And he did it three times. So does that mean Peter lost his salvation three times? Is that what that means? No. No, not at all. Let's take a look at uh, let's go this way. Think about this now. Oh, where are we at here? John 17. Jesus says, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. So the son of perdition in this context is Judas Iscariot, right? And the rest of them is those... Uh, disciples that it, that walked with them, uh, it would, which would include Peter, right? And it says, "While I was with them in the world." This is true. While he was in the world, it's still true today. But specifically in the context of this, he says, "I kept them in Thy name; those that Thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them." is lost so Peter was never lost once saved always saved is the gospel of Jesus Christ without it it is impossible to have peace